Facebook friends and family. Jennifer McCune here. Wanted to share a little piece of wisdom from my experiences since uh, just in my life. So many of you know that I'm an entrepreneur and I'm going to share a little bit more why I decided to embark upon this journey. And the first thing I wanted to start off with is you asking yourself a question. Are you living the life of your dreams? Do you really, do you believe in you? Do you believe in you? So share a little story about me. When I was a little girl, I had this great vision of what my life was going to look like. I always wanted to be a mom. It was really, really important to me. And I also had this vision of being a professional mom. I didn't know what that looked like. I knew that meant that I was going to be able to be with my kids. I wanted to be able to be with them and be with them before school, after school, raise them, have fun with them, be on vacation and breaks with them. Of course, we know that it entails a lot of crying and <laughs> sleepless nights as well. But you know, when I'm a little girl, here's what I envision. I also knew that I wanted to have some sort of profession that would allow me to do that. That was really important for me to be able to make money, to be able to have some sort of professional challenge and career for myself. And so when I was, once I had kids and started trying to figure out what that looked like, I worked full time for a while, I worked part time for a while, I worked no time, meaning I was at home with the kids full time, so I experienced it at all. And prior to finding the uh, entrepreneurial opportunity in which I'm involved now, I had been working full time. And I knew that was not the answer. It's what our family needed at that time, but that was not ultimately my answer. And being part of corporate America, I started to experience this thing where I was losing my belief in myself. I was really losing belief in that vision that I had had when I was a little girl, that I could have it all, that I could be with my kids, that I could earn money, that I could feel professionally fulfilled. And it was, it was starting to eat away at me. And I was starting to find myself thinking, well, gosh, I only have, what, 20, 30 years left. And then something happened within me. And I thought, gosh, why? Why would I only have 20 or 30 years left? Why would I want to do this and feel like I'm not having the opportunity to live this life that I envisioned where I can have it all. I, I can't lose that belief in myself and I was feeling stagnant and I was feeling very upset. So I ask all of you to ask that question about yourself. Are you living the life of your dreams? And, and do you even know what that means? For me, it involves helping and empower other women to live the lives of their dreams, to be able to know that it's possible to have it all, to be with their kids, to be able to make money, to find a challenging business opportunity, no matter what that looks like. It, it, it involves helping people be able to live the lives of their dreams and know that it's possible. And once I found this opportunity and found all these other women doing similar things, I thought, gosh, I can do that. How wonderful. And I can help other people. So what does that life of your dreams look like for you? Would you like to take more vacations? Would you like to spend more time with your family? Do you want to spend more time on a beach in the mountains? Write a book. What, what really? And, and, and go as big as you want. And then start believing it can happen. Don't say, oh, I have to wait 20 or 30 years till I retire or 40 or 10 because there's no guarantee that that will ever happen. We never know what's going to happen with your life. So I challenge all of you today to really think about what do I want my life to look like five years from now? And is what I'm doing going to get me there? Because if it's not, there are so many wonderful opportunities out there to talk to different people, to figure out how can it look like that five years from now and start working on that today. I'm living proof that that has happened four and a half years ago, about five years ago now, when I was so upset and I felt myself caving in on myself and I was losing that belief that I could become the person that I always envisioned. And I embarked upon something totally crazy and outside the scope of anything I thought I would ever do, having a background in academia. I started my business and my world started to open up. Was it scary? 
Absolutely. Way outside of my comfort zone? 100%. But fast forward to five years from now and this person sitting here, I am so thrilled that that person had the courage to try something new, to realize that the life of my dreams can be possible, that I can take more vacations, be with my kids more, have a professional opportunity, have more financial freedom than I thought I would have at this point in my life and be able to help others do the same. So please, please do not give up on your belief in you. Please start thinking about what your dreams are and make them become a reality. Reach out to people out there that you know are doing it because they want to help you too. Wednesday Words of Wisdom. Have a great day.